The SIU commencement ceremony was held this Saturday, May 7th, at the Bentera Center. Thousands of graduates, family, and friends poured into the arena for the joyous occasion. Over a thousand degrees were awarded, from bachelors to masters to PhDs. This included two posthumous degrees, awarded to students that passed away during the semester. Despite the solemn undertones, the occasion was overall very positive. Dr. Daniel F. Mahoney is the president of the entire SAU system, and encapsulates what is so special about the event. It's a big celebration for everybody. It's a huge accomplishment. Only about 30% of the people in the country ever earn a bachelor's degree, only about 10% earn a graduate degree. So it's a small percentage to actually get to this point, and it's certainly worth celebrating. And people did today. It was great. Just watching the graduates walk across the stage and receive their degrees, and just the excitement on their face, that's the best part. Students weren't the only ones honored, though. Several teachers were also honored for their exemplary actions over the last year. One of these teachers is Phil Anton, who received one of this year's Teaching Excellence Awards. Phil teaches exercise science and classes in cancer rehabilitation. I had this to say about what it takes to be the teacher of the year for the entire university. One of the things that I try to do in the classroom and through my research is try to have as much fun as I can because I take what I do very seriously. My teaching, my research, service work, education of our students, opportunities for them, I take that very seriously. But I don't tend to take myself very seriously. Anton's positive outlook and academic prowess is no doubt why he received one of this year's prestigious Teaching Excellence Awards. Commencement is a great way for students and teachers alike to celebrate all they accomplished together over their collegiate careers. This year was particularly special because of how many extra challenges the COVID-19 pandemic has brought. As the ceremony ended, I couldn't help but look forward to what these students would achieve in the coming years.